It's Mark Vanderpoel at one hundred points. Dwayne here, Phoenix Typewriter. Gonna fix a Smith Corona Electronic H series machine. This one happens to be, uh, let's see, a 50 PWT 50D. But there's uh, quite a few of these word processing models that have switches over here. On off, right there. And then type in word process. Sometimes they're laid out a little differently, but these particular style switches, uh, the contacts need to be cleaned, and I can, you know, it will, you have to jiggle this to make it work, jiggle this to make it work. And one way I know is because this one's broken, the mounts are broken because somebody jiggled them so much and pushed them, trying to get them to work, that they broke them. But we're going to fix the contacts, and then maybe another video I'll show how to modify fixing the bracket. I'll show you. Let's see if I can get this out of here. I oh, already got these cables disconnected here, so let me uh, move this out of the way. Because it's in the way. And uh, show you what I'm talking about back down here. So here's those switches. Switches around here this and uh, normally you would unscrew this and unscrew that and that whole assembly will come out but this one's broken see that right there and there broke the plastic right off the ends here which is something else I'm gonna have to fix after I fix the switch portion of it so let's move this out of the way. What we're going to concentrate on is this little gizmo right here. Let me get in here a little closer. So here we got the on off down here. And this one's just word process. Sometimes they have three positions, these only have two. And of course, it's got a little wire. The wire on this is connected right to the contact. In fact, I think it is the contact. It's just got a brass end on it. These are kind of tricky. I haven't actually taken one, done one of these in a while. So let's try it. See if I can do this without springing parts everywhere. Okay, so this should snap out of here. Oops, I just did it. It's got that little piece right there. I'm going to do the top one first so I know keep these things separate. Okay, so it's got a little piece here that goes like that right there. Boy, these are a little tricky. I forgot how tricky they are. Now it's got a little spring. That spring goes goes right in. Let's see if we get some more light over here. Spring goes right in there. Already, already messing it up. Okay, well that goes like that, and that goes in there. What we're gonna do is clean this, this little brass slider right there. You can barely see any anything wrong with it. There's not much. It just needs a little cleaning, and I'm just gonna use some sandpaper. This stuff's 320, but just about anything will work. Any fine sandpaper and we're just going to clean this and make it shine again so it doesn't really take too much to get this to uh, just like that it's enough but the main thing is these little tiny tiny contacts in here also need to be cleaned so they're little brass studs. There's two of them. There's one right there by my thumb and there's the other one right there. Hard to see. Those need to be sandpapered the same way. So first I'm going to just clean the sh shaft off right there. And I think, if I remember right, you can push this through. And you see it kind of comes up out of there. But I think we can do it right in position. 
Just take the sandpaper and uh, just run it right on these contacts. I'll just get this edge cleaned up a little. I don't know. I'll send this one through a little bit higher so you can push the wire through. There we go. See, so it pokes through. It's poking through just a little bit. And that kind of contact clean that. And maybe just wipe off excess. Okay, so that's ready to go. Putting this back together is a little tricky. So let's put the spring in here first. Okay, so the spring goes in the center of that little piece. want to stay. Okay. I think we can just kind of rock this. And this is not. Okay, so go like that. Okay, there it goes. So that's it right there. So it's got a little spring tension. And that piece goes in like this. I'm going to take this and just... This little piece has to go into that opening there, so... But the trouble is, you've got to collapse that, that springy piece here before it will fit. So we've got to manipulate this just right. Okay. So I'm gonna stick something down in there. Let's see if I got something really small. There we go. I want to use this thing right here. And it's not quite in place. It made it. Well, it. Looks like it's just about right. Let me slide it down a notch here. Push this piece in there. We go, maybe. Come on. moved out of place. Alright, let's try it again. So, just bring it in there like that. Put this piece in. Like that. Let's try it again. This is not easiest thing to do. I can't even see this side. Oh, look at that. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So that's back in place. I don't want it to pop out of there. Put a small little band around this because place when I'm doing the other one. Come on, buddy. Okay, so that one's going to stay there. Let's repeat the process on this one. Just snap it out of there. Come on. I just want to snap out of here. There it goes. This piece didn't fall out all the way. I think I can sand that while you're sitting in there. I think. I will just do it right in place here. Yeah. It's going to work. Okay, 
that's good. And let's just do uh, let's clean this a little bit here. And see, this one's actually got a peg right here, a peg right here, and it could have a peg right there, but it doesn't. It's a dummy spot. But some of them, like I said, have three, three positions. I'll try to move that up a little bit, like that. We'll get to it. Move this one up a little from the bottom. There we go. That's it. That's all I got to do. Wipe off the excess. Yeah, let's try to get this in one, one shot. So let's line that up. And I'll just try to manipulate this. Oh, look at that. I'm getting better at it every time. There it goes. So now these are these are rebuilt. I'm gonna make a better connection when we slide. All right, so those are those are ready. The next thing is to uh, modify a way to mount this back in there with these. I'm gonna probably have to melt something and maybe make this more permanent. But at least the switches will be rebuilt, so. It doesn't have to be removed to be rebuilt. All right, that's how we do slide switches on a H-Series Smith Corona electronic typewriter. Good day.